What does success really mean? Is it the big house, the fancy car, or the high-paying job, or is it something more? Often we're led to believe that success is a checklist of achievements. A job title with prestige, a hefty bank account, a sprawling mansion, a luxury car in the driveway. Society tends to measure success with these tangible materialistic markers. But is that all there is to success? Is it just about acquiring more things, reaching higher rungs on the social ladder? Consider this. What if success isn't about what you have, but rather about who you are? What if it's about your personal growth, your happiness, your fulfillment? What if it's about the way you navigate the world, the kindness you extend to others, the joy you find in everyday moments? Let's challenge the norms. Let's redefine success because success isn't a one-size-fits-all concept. It's unique to each individual, shaped by our values, our dreams, our passions. It's not just about reaching a destination. It's about the journey, a journey filled with growth, discovery, and moments of joy. Maybe success is about being true to yourself, about pursuing what you love without fear of judgment. Maybe it's about learning to appreciate the simple things in life, like a good book or a shared laugh with a friend. Maybe it's about embracing challenges and turning them into opportunities, about making a positive impact in the lives of others. Success can be as simple as waking up each morning with a sense of purpose, approaching each day with positivity, and going to bed each night with a sense of fulfillment. It can be about making the most of the present while also looking forward to the future. So let's shift our perspective. Let's acknowledge that success isn't just about material wealth or social status. It's about personal growth, happiness, and fulfillment. It's about living life on your own terms with authenticity and joy. Success isn't always about what you have, but who you are and how you live your life. One sign you're winning at life is that you're constantly learning. Picture this. Your neighbor, a retiree, decides one day to pick up a paintbrush for the first time. She has never ventured into the world of art, but she's drawn to the idea of expressing herself in new ways, of finding beauty in the ordinary. So, she sets out on this journey not with the aim to become the next Picasso, but simply to learn, to grow, to enjoy the process. Every stroke of her brush, every color she blends, every canvas she fills brings her a sense of satisfaction and joy. She's not striving for a masterpiece, she's savoring the process of creation, of learning something new. This is winning at life. It's about diving headfirst into the sea of knowledge, about embracing the thrill of discovery, about the joy of constant growth. Success is about growth, not just achievements. Another sign you're winning at life is your ability to embrace change. Let's consider the story of Jessica, a high-powered attorney with a six-figure salary. She was successful by conventional standards, yet she felt a void. Driven by her passion for culinary arts, she left her lucrative law career behind to open a small bakery in her hometown. The transition wasn't easy. There were financial sacrifices, long hours, and lots of uncertainty. But Jessica embraced the change, welcomed the challenges, and found joy in her journey. She traded corporate boardrooms for warm ovens, legal briefs for sweet pastries. And in the process, she discovered a level of fulfillment that she hadn't experienced before. Jessica's story teaches us that embracing change, even when it's uncomfortable or scary, is a sign of personal growth and success. It's about having the courage to pursue what truly makes you happy. Success is about finding fulfillment, not just financial security. A third sign you're winning at life is the quality of your relationships. We often measure success by material wealth or career advancement, but the truth is the relationships we build with others can be far more rewarding. Imagine a woman named Emily. She's a high-powered executive with a demanding job, but she makes a conscious effort to prioritize her relationships. Every morning, no matter how busy she is, Emily has breakfast with her husband. She also makes time for weekly dinners with her parents and never misses her children's school events. She's learned to set boundaries at work, ensuring she has time for those who matter most. Now, Emily might not be the CEO of her company, but she feels successful. Why? Because she's nurtured relationships that bring her joy, provide her with support, and enrich her life in ways that money and status can't. It's important to remember that strong relationships don't just happen overnight. They require time, effort, and a whole lot of patience. But the payoff is worth it. Studies have shown that people with strong social relationships are happier, healthier, and live longer. That's not to say that work and ambition aren't important, they certainly are, but they're not the be-all and end-all of success. True success is about balance. 
It's about juggling your personal and professional life in a way that leaves you feeling fulfilled. Think about it. What's the use of having a fancy car if you have no one to take on a road trip? What's the point of living in a mansion if its rooms are empty of laughter and love? Instead of defining success by what you have, consider defining it by who you have in your life. By the smiles you share, the memories you create, and the love you give and receive. So, if you're someone who's been investing in relationships, nurturing them with time and love, give yourself a pat on the back. You're doing better than you think. Success is about the connections we make, not just the things we acquire. A fourth sign you're winning at life is your impact on the world around you. Let's take a moment to explore this concept through a heartwarming story. Picture this. A woman named Sarah, a corporate executive by day, but come evening, she trades her business suit for an apron and ladle. She's an active volunteer at a local soup kitchen serving hot meals to those less fortunate. Despite her demanding day job, Sarah finds time to serve her community, not because she has to, but because she wants to. Sarah's story is not unique. There are countless individuals just like her making a difference in their own unique ways. They might not be making headlines, but their actions are creating ripples of change, touching lives, and transforming communities. You see, Sarah doesn't measure her success by her corporate title or the size of her paycheck. Instead, the smile she receives from the people she helps, the gratitude in their eyes, those are her true measures of success. She has discovered a profound truth that the act of giving can be even more fulfilling than receiving. Every time Sarah serves a meal, every time she lends a listening ear, she's not just filling bellies but also hearts. She's not just giving food but hope. And it's not just about those she helps but also herself. Because in giving, Sarah finds a sense of purpose, a sense of fulfillment that no amount of money or professional accolades could ever provide. This is a powerful perspective shift. Success isn't just about what we acquire or achieve for ourselves. It's also about what we do for others, what we give back, how we contribute to the world around us. The beauty of making a difference is that it doesn't need grand gestures or hefty donations. It starts with small acts of kindness, a helping hand, a word of encouragement, a warm meal. And in these acts, we find a kind of success that is deep, meaningful, and incredibly fulfilling. So remember, success is not just about the destination or the accolades, it's also about the journey, and more importantly, the positive impact we make along the way. Success is about contribution, not just consumption. The final sign you're winning at life is your ability to enjoy the journey. This, my friends, is a powerful truth, often forgotten in the hustle and bustle of daily life. We are so focused on the ultimate goal, the final destination, that we forget to cherish the journey. But it's in the journey where the real magic happens, where we grow, learn, and truly live. Imagine a man named John. John is an ordinary guy with an ordinary job, but there's something extraordinary about him. Every morning before the sun peeks over the horizon, John takes a moment to sit quietly, sips his coffee, and watches the world wake up. He doesn't rush through his morning routine, but instead savors each moment. This simple act of mindfulness of being present has a profound impact on his day. His mornings aren't filled with stress or dread for the day ahead. Instead, they are filled with peace and gratitude. John doesn't stop there. Throughout his day, he takes time to appreciate the little things, the way the sunlight filters through the office windows, the laughter of his colleagues, even the taste of his lunch. He's not waiting for a promotion or a vacation to find happiness. He finds joy in the journey, and this, my friends, enriches his life in ways that material success cannot. Now, this doesn't mean John doesn't have goals or aspirations. Of course he does, but he understands that the destination is just one moment in time. The journey, however, is where life unfolds. It's where he builds relationships, learns new things, faces challenges, and yes, enjoys the ride. So, what can we learn from John that success isn't just about achieving our goals? It's about relishing the process, finding joy in everyday moments, practicing gratitude for the here and now. It's about understanding that life isn't a race to the finish line, but a journey to be savored and enjoyed. Success is about enjoying the journey, not just reaching the destination. So, are you enjoying your journey? So, let's take a moment to rethink our definition of success. It's not always about the flashy cars, the corner office, or the number of zeros in our bank accounts. It's about the wisdom we glean from constant learning, the resilience we build by embracing change and the love we foster through strong relationships. 
It's about making a difference, however small, in our corner of the world. And most importantly, it's about the joy and fulfillment we derive from the journey itself. Success is a personal journey and it's measured by the richness of our experiences, not just material wealth or social status. It's about personal growth, happiness, fulfillment, and the positive impact we make on the world around us. So let's redefine success, not just for ourselves, but for generations to come. Remember, you're more successful than you give yourself credit for. Keep winning at life.